Hello. Welcome to this language-focused video on quoting sources and reporting verbs. In this video, we'll talk about why journalists use quotes, and we'll also talk about different verbs journalists use when reporting a quote. A quote is a group of words or a sentence that someone else says. Journalists use quotes often in the news to report on an interview. There are two ways to report on something someone said in an interview, quotations and reported speech. In this video, we'll just cover quotations, why they are used and how to use reporting verbs with quotations. Let's first talk about why quotes are used in the news. Journalists use quotes for two general reasons, to show what a person said and how they said it. The first reason is for accuracy. For example, let's say the chief of police said, crime is down by two-thirds from this time last year. This is the lowest crime rate in the history of the city. Now let's say a journalist reported, the chief of police said crime was down. This doesn't give all the information from the original statement. We know the main idea of the statement, that crime rate is low, but we don't know by how much, or what that rate means related to the city's history of crime. So by using a quote, journalists can accurately report what other people say. The second reason that journalists use quotes is because a quote tells you how they said it. In our example with the chief of police, the use of the superlative, the lowest, and the historical crime fact of the city tells the listener that this is a huge achievement. The chief of police is emphasizing the statistics importance. So if a journalist simply says that the chief of police reported that the crime was down, we miss out on this emphasis. Now that we know why a journalist uses quotes, let's talk about one aspect of quoting, the reporting verb. A quote is introduced by identifying the speaker and a reporting verb, which is an action word that lets the reader know how something was said. In our first example, the reporting verb was said. This is the most basic reporting verb. If a journalist only uses the verb said when reporting quotes, the article might become a little boring. He said, she said, they said, we said. A good writer doesn't use the same words over and over again. Let's look at a different example of reporting verbs. A German official warned, resources for refugees are limited. In this example, the author used a strong reporting verb, warned, rather than a neutral verb like said. By using warned, the readers know that the official thinks that refugees might face problems if they come to Germany. Now let's take a look at other reporting verbs. Reporting verbs have slight differences in meaning. Here are some examples. Asked, stated, said, reported, these are neutral reporting verbs. When something is neutral, it doesn't have a positive or negative meaning. Urged, emphasized, warned, advised. These are used to express a strong opinion. Warned and advised are used to express a strong opinion about an action the speaker wants the audience to take. As you can see, it's important for journalists to pick the right reporting verb when including a quote in their article. To summarize, quotes are an important part of many articles. Journalists use quotes to show the exact words of the original speaker, and also to show how it was said. It's important to use a variety of reporting verbs. In the next game, pick the right reporting verb for each sentence.